Now the next chapter we are moving on to is reflection. In that chapter reflection, we will be dealing with this kind of Cartesian system of coordinates. What is a Cartesian system of coordinates? Okay, it is a way of uh, it is just a way of representing any numbers on a graph. Okay, so let's say that this is a typical graph that we have for the Cartesian system. How does the Cartesian system work? Is that we have this kind of graph over there, or we make this kind of graph? The vertical line that is y o y y dash is called the y axis. This line x dash o x is called the x axis, and this point in the middle is called the origin that is o. So we have x dash o x. This is the x axis. Okay, we have y dash o y. This is the y axis. O is the origin. Okay, so this is how this graph is made. Towards right of origin is the positive of x axis. Towards the left of origin is the negative of x axis. Upwards from origin is the positive of y axis and same way downwards from an origin is the negative of y axis Very simple. This is how this is a Cartesian system of coordinates Now tell me how do we represent a point in these coordinates? How do we represent a point? Let's say that we have to represent this point on these coordinates what we do Let's say that this point is M. Okay, so what do we do is that we draw, we see that where is this point, a perpendicular from this point onto X axis, where is, where is it meeting the X axis? And same way we see where is it meeting the Y axis. Okay, this is the point. So we have two coordinates of this point x coordinate and the y coordinate in Cartesian system we have two coordinates so this is representation of a point on the Cartesian system okay so this is a representation of a point so that point m will be represented as two coordinates the combination of two coordinates that is x axis and y axis x axis that the measure of x axis is called the abscissa and the uh, this is the measure of x axis what do the, what do you mean by measure of the x axis if we draw perpendicular from the point onto x axis where it meets the x axis x axis is called the abscissa okay and ordinate is the measure of y axis so when we draw a perpendicular from the point onto y axis where it meets the y axis is called the ordinate so what is the abscissa for that point m now for point m where is the abscissa abscissa is 2 right and ordinate is 3 right now uh, how is this point m represented this point m can be written as m 2 comma 3 m 2 comma 3 if it is written that m is at 2 comma 3 so how do we reach m we see two points from here three points from up we draw a line like this straight we draw a line like this and wherever they meet that is point m clear enough this is how points on a cartesian system of coordinates are represented again the basic sign rule is towards the right of uh, origin the x axis the abscissa is positive towards the left the abscissa is negative towards up the ordinate is positive and towards down of origin the ordinate is negative that is it. Now tell me one thing. 
how will you represent on this graph how will you represent a point p which is equal to say minus 2 comma 3 first of all try doing this on your own i am doing this over here stop the video try to try to locate this point on this graph on your own point p that is minus 2 comma 3 so the abscissa that is the x coordinate that is always written in the front is minus 2 so let's see x axis minus 2 so this is let's say that we have reached over here okay now this point the ordinate is 3 ordinate is 3 that is over here right so how do we represent this point we just draw straight perpendiculars upwards okay and we draw perpendicular like this and wherever they meet this point is the point p whose coordinates are minus 2 comma 3 these are called the coordinates of that point and that is the basic of uh, cartesian system of coordinates